Welcome back. All right, so this is this is a career that's going to hit a lot of marks. First off, a trophy's named after him, so fits into that playlist I've got started. Uh, he is a Hall of Famer, had a nice long career, so that's two other playlists. And there's some history to this as well, in that he made some history. There's some infamy as well with that history, and let's go ahead and discuss. First off, we know him as Rocket Richard. Uh, it didn't start out that way. He was known as the Comet, and then it became Rocket. And once the media started calling him Rocket, that was the name that stuck. Uh, he was a free agent signing by the Montreal Canadiens on October 29th of 1942. This predates the draft by about 25 years. Well, 20, 21 years, actually. It was 1963 the draft came in. So, 42-43, 16 games, 5 goals, 6 assists, 11 points. Uh, Richard was a scorer, but he was also pretty rough to play against he was not exactly a, a, a soft player out there he was tough to play against 43 44 in his first full season in the nhl 46 games 32 goals which was sixth overall so right away he's top 10 in goal scoring uh 22 assists 54 points he was known as a guy who wouldn't pass uh one quote uh from a lot from a teammate was he wouldn't pass you the salt so in the playoffs in nine games he had 12 goals which led the league five assists 17 points uh, he was a big producer in the playoffs. He was a huge producer in the playoffs. He was a second team All-Star that year, and Montreal wins the Stanley Cup. So a legend is born. Um, Montreal, you I would guess you probably don't have to pay and pay for anything in Montreal once you've won a Stanley Cup and they see you as a hero. Your money's no good here, sir. Your food's on the house. So 45 44 45. 50 games played, 50 goals, which leads the league. There's 50 goals in 50 games. 23 assists for 73 points, which is second overall. One thing that people forget, too, when we talk about all these point totals and, oh, they're passing all these milestones, uh, the, the schedule was much shorter during this era, so guys playing in that era didn't get the opportunity to get nearly as many goals and points as they would have today, and, of course, they didn't make the amount of money either. So, uh, in that season, he was second in points with 73 points. So, again, 50 goals to go with 23 assists. He doesn't really like the passing so much. And keep in mind, he plays on the Montreal Canadiens, a fantastic team, and he's still like, no, nah, I'll, I'll do it. No, I'll, I'll do it. You pass the puck to me. You want me to pass it pass it back? I don't speak that language. So in the playoffs, six games, six goals, two assists, eight points. He's a first-team All-Star, and he was second in heart voting that year. Uh, no Stanley Cup for them, which, of course, uh, can be a problem, but it didn't cause a riot. So 44-45, people are like, oh, he's taking a shot at Vancouver. No, I'm actually going to talk about the riot that took place involving Maurice Richard during this video. So 45-46, 50 games played. That's how long the schedule was at that point. 27 goals, which is fourth overall. 22 assists, which is ninth overall. So he started passing that year. But his points per game dropped. He's down to 49 points. So probably looked at that at the end of the year and said, I need, I need to be selfish again. So nine games in the playoffs, seven goals, four assists, 11 points. He's a first-team All-Star, and they win the Stanley Cup again. So that is two Stanley Cups in his first three full seasons. Made it look pretty easy. 46-47, 60 games played as the NHL schedule does start to expand. 45 goals, which was first overall. Would have won a trophy with his own name on it. Would have been weird. Uh, 26 assists, 71 points, which is second overall in the NHL that year. He never did win an Art Ross trophy. Uh, 10 games played in the playoffs. Six goals, which led the league. Five assists, 11 points. That 11 points led the league as well. Uh, he's a first-team All-Star, plays in the All-Star game, and Hart Trophy. So, yeah, he's there when the All-Star game starts to be a thing. I'm guessing it's not what it is now. Uh, I will be going through, uh, in a video, the All-Star game, its format, and all that fun stuff at some point. 47-48, he plays 53 games that year. Uh, 28 goals, which is third overall. 25 assists, 53 points, which is seventh overall. Plays in the All-Star game, and he's a first-team All-Star yet again. Uh, 48 49, 59 games, 20 goals, 18 assists, 38 points. So his production falls off precipitously that year in the playoffs, seven games, two goals, one assist, three points. Uh, he's an all star. He's a first team all star as well. So he's still getting all the all star votes and he's still playing pretty well. 49 50, 70 games played as the NHL schedule expands again. 43 goals, which is first overall, 22 assists, 65 points, which is fourth overall in the NHL that year. In the playoffs, five games, one goal, one assist, two points. He's in the All-Star game, he's a first-team All-Star, and he's third in heart voting. So, yeah, things are going pretty darn well for him. The interesting thing, too, is he only won the one heart trophy in 1947. He never won another one. 
So that is kind of interesting. Uh, 50-51, 65 games played, 42 goals, which is second overall that year. Uh, 24 assists, 66 points, which is second overall. In the playoffs, 11 games, 9 goals, which led the league. 4 assists and 13 points. Uh, in the playoffs, um, they played well enough that they, they, they get to the final. They don't win it, though. They don't win the cup that year. He's in the All-Star game. He's the second-team All-Star. He's second in heart voting that year. So he is one of the best players in the league year after year. 51-52, 48 games played, 27 goals, which is fifth overall, 17 assists, 44 points. In the playoffs, 11 games, 4 goals, 2 assists, 6 points. Plays in the All-Star game, and he's the second-team All-Star that year as well. So again, year after year, he's just very consistent, and he's very well regarded, and he's one of the biggest stars in the league. 52-53, plays all 70 games, 28 goals, which is 4th overall, 33 assists, which is 6th overall, for 61 points, which is 3rd overall. So again, back in the NHL at that point, we're not seeing scoring anywhere near levels we do now, and uh, Richard's holding his own. Uh, so in the playoffs, 12 games, 7 goals, 1 assist, 8 points. He's an All-Star, he's a 2nd team All-Star as well, so he's in the All-Star game, 2nd team All-Star at the end of the year, and he wins himself another Stanley Cup. So yeah, Stanley Cup rings, he had a few. 53-54, uh, 70 games, 37 goals, which leads the league that year. 30 assists, 67 points, which is second overall. 11 playoff games, 3 goals. Uh, All-Star game, yep, second team All-Star, absolutely. And he was third in heart voting that year. 54-55, uh, this is where things get a little infamous. 67 games, 38 goals, which is first overall. 36 assists, which is seventh overall. And 74 points, which is second overall. He missed the last three games of the season and missed the playoffs as well. Now, he was an all-star. He was in the all-star game. He was a first-team all-star. He was third in heart voting. But he struck a linesman. He can't do that. Uh, struck a linesman absolutely on purpose. Um, most NHL fans were like, yeah, he's that's bad. you got to suspend him for that. So Clarence Campbell suspends him for the final three games of the regular season and the entirety of the playoffs. Montreal fans believe that this is an attack by Clarence Campbell as an English-speaking um, president of the league against French-speaking Maurice Richard and Montreal, where you have a large Francophone population. So they're really, really quite angry at Clarence Campbell. So what does Clarence Campbell do? He decides, I'm going to go sit in the forum and watch a Montreal game. <sighs> Did he not have advisors telling him this is a bad idea? Because... He should have had advisors telling him this was a really bad idea. Uh, so the forum, seeing that Clarence Campbell is among them, um, they riot. And it spills out into the streets. It spills out into the city of Montreal. Uh, this was this was on, on uh, St. Patrick's Day as well. And it, it led to big changes. And there were huge, there was a huge fallout. And it kind of changed things around the province of Quebec because of that riot that... Um, yeah, Clarence Campbell probably shouldn't have sat in the building that night. Um, I mean, you're, he's free to do so, but I mean the chaos, right? So at any rate, Campbell survives. He lives. Uh, the riot happens. Montreal, um, not happy about the Maurice Richard thing. But there were fans outside of Montreal that felt that that, that suspension was too lenient. The guy struck a ref, or struck a linesman. So really, it should have been a longer suspension, but... Clarence Campbell leaves it at three games and just the playoffs, which is, you know, what, 11, 12 games, about 15 games for hitting the linesman. I, yeah, in today's game, that would be a much longer suspension, I would think. 55-56, uh, 70 games played because it could happen, and I just want to say I would think because otherwise people will come back years later and go, see, he thought it would be longer. Uh, so 38 goals the following season, which was second overall, 33 assists, which is 10th overall, and 71 points, which is third. One of the angering things about the 1955 suspension was he could have won the scoring t scoring title that year for the first time in his career, and then he got suspended to, to for the rest of the season, and it didn't happen. So in the playoffs, 10 games, 5 goals, 9 assists, 14 points. He's in the All-Star game. He's a first-team All-Star, wins the Stanley Cup. And he's 8th in heart voting that year. 56-57, uh, 63 games played. 33 goals, which is 2nd overall in the NHL. 29 assists, 62 assists. 62 points, I should say. 6th uh, six, overall in the NHL in scoring that year. In the playoffs, 10 games, 8 goals, 3 assists, 11 points. He goes to the All-Star game. He's a 2nd team All-Star. 
and wins the Stanley Cup. This is the best dynasty the NHL's ever seen by numbers in that they win five straight Stanley Cups. That's only number two. 57-58, he only plays 28 games that year. 15 goals, 19 assists, 34 points in the games he plays, but he plays in the playoffs. 10 games, 11 goals, which leads the league that year. Four assists, 15 points. He goes to the All-Star game and he wins the Stanley Cup. Not too bad. 58-59, he only plays 42 games that year. 17 goals, 21 assists, 38 points in the playoffs. Three games played, no points. But an All-Star game, yes. Stanley Cup, also, yes. He gets another cup ring. Uh, 59-60, 51 games, 19 goals, 16 assists, 35 points in the playoffs. Eight games, one goal, three assists, four points. And yeah, he wins another Stanley Cup prior to retirement. So by the end of this, he's played 978 games, 544 goals, which currently ranks 31st in the NHL. At the time he retired, that was easily first place. He was the first player to ever reach 500 goals. Uh, Gordy Howe did pass his points mark, uh, did pass him in that before he retired. He ends up with 422 assists because he doesn't pass. 966 points overall, which is pretty darn solid. And if he'd played in today's game, who, who knows how many points he might have put up. 132 games in the playoffs, 82 goals. That is remarkable. 82 goals in 132 playoff games, 44 assists because he doesn't pass, 126 points overall. The interesting thing with Rocket Richard is he was top 10 in penalty minutes nine times in his career. And in 52-53, he led the NHL in penalty minutes with 112. So he didn't mess with, with Maurice Richard. Uh, this was not a pretty boy. This wasn't the kind of player that, you know, would just score goals and played a nice light game. Uh, he could hit, he could fight, and he had no problem with any of that, uh, which is, is despite the fact that he is, you know, a goal scorer and a hero. So really, uh, he was one of the greatest, and it was on one of the greatest lines ever. It was the punch line with Elmer Locke and Toe Blake. Uh, one of those great lines, and again, those five straight Stanley Cups, and he played with his brother, Henri Richard, who was pretty good too. Uh, the Pocket Rockets, what they called Henri Richard. Uh, he was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 1961. So they forego the, the standard three-year waiting period for Maurice Richard, and he goes straight into the Hall of Fame. And uh, yeah, it's an interesting career. Keep in mind, he was in there six years after the, the riot and all that fun stuff. But uh, yeah, he was he was the best of his time. as In terms of goal scorers, he was the best of his time. Uh, he would be the only 50 goal scorer until Bobby Hall joined him. And so he only hit that mark once, which may surprise people, but I would again mention, hey, this, the schedule was shorter. There were fewer games being played. It was a lot more difficult. And he already, he led the league with totals of like 37 and 38 goals. So yeah, it was it, 50 goal scorers really weren't a thing back then. But let me know your thoughts in the comments section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through, you just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.